Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Topps Stadium Club Baseball four box random team break number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. There are the teams right there with the combos. And we took out some teams as well. Pirates, Rays, Rangers, Rockies are thrown out, but we'll do a randomizer for that. Um, with a different dice roll at the very end of the break, just in case there are any cards like that pop out. We can do it. All right, so let's randomize this list for now three times. Two and a one. One, two, and a one. Three times. Dylan Yost, down two. Stephen K. And then two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and Three. A's down to Marlins. All right, so Dylan with the A's, TC, White Sox, Bill with the Nationals, Paul with the Royals, Robert with the Dodgers, Paul with the uh, Indians, TC with the O's and the Diamondbacks, Diamondbacks last spot mojo, Paul Cool Whit. With the Mets, TC with the Tigers-Padres combo, Mariners-Blue Jays combo, Cool Whit with the Braves, Paul Nixon with the Astros, TC, Brewers-Twins combo, Yankees and Cubs, Stephen K with the Reds, Bill with the Red Sox, James Eaton with the Angels, TC with the Cardinals-Phillies-Giants, and Stephen K with the Miami Marlins. The Marlins that have uh, that has flummoxed Eric Jennings. How the hell do the Phillies lose to them? All right, any trades? Any trades, any trades, any trades? I'm going to go to the other computer and print this out. I don't think there's going to be any trades. All right, trade window closed. And here's the official printout. Good luck, everybody. On the 14th, Stadium Club 7, TC Last Ball Mojo with the Diamondbacks. There's all the teams right there. Good luck, boys and girls. And, uh,. From the previous break, you saw me make those little lines there so you know they're from the same case. Two on-card autographs per box on average. Good luck, everyone. Um... Bill's asking, just curious, the same club of prospect product? Not necessarily. I think you'll see a lot of a lot of random autos in here, but it's not a prospect heavy product in the way like Inception Baseball is. It usually includes everybody. But just the just the vet autos or the bigger names just aren't as common in a in a set like this. Although I don't think it matters what direction I face these in because they'll all be upside down and right side up.
Bill Mosher asking what ships. Well, the item description description says nothing ships, Bill. So should have read the item description. No, vet base won't ship. Everything else will. Zach Granke, black foil. And, well, look at this. Miguel Andujar. Nice. Nice rookie auto for the Yankees. That's TC. The Bronx Bombers. I know no one... That's right, Andrew. No one reads the item description. One day it really will say nothing ships. And we'll see what happens. And our other autograph is is Nico Nico Goodrum rookie auto for the Tigers. That'll be for the Tigers Padres combo. That's another one for TC. All right, box one in the books. Yeah, the photography in this product is pretty incredible. Oh, no, we still have that stack right there. Come on, Joe. I just saw the two autographs pop, and I was like, we're done with this box. We essentially are. I guess we'll look for some short prints here. No, the photography is incredible. Last year, um, we did a case of... We did a case of uh, Stadium Club at the national with someone at tops and the person at tops who uh there's Yoan Moncada for the White Sox TC with that one and she was the one that selects all the photo of the the photos for this set I think for the last few years or so and with Stadium Club yeah they they specifically go out of their way to try to find unique photos for this set and they do an incredible job. And so that's a big characteristic of this uh, of this set. All right. Now box one is in the books. Here's box two. No national for us this year, I'm afraid, folks. Apologies to uh, to Cleveland. I was uh, looking forward to to returning to the place of my birth, that area. But with all, a lot of lot of changes happening at Jaspie's Hobbyland, good things growing. So, and a, a couple other circumstances kind of made it not a good time for us, I'm afraid. Um, shooting for next year for sure, though, in Chicago, summer of 2019. I agree, yeah, Andrew, uh, Andrew H. saying, Stadium Club, possibly my favorite mid-level baseball product solely because of the photography. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's the big defining characteristic of Stadium Club baseball, that's why we usually do pretty well with this from year to year. It's been a while, says Andrew. It has. What's changing? We're just getting bigger. We're growing. Taking over the taking over the world. Maybe. Trying to. Herman Marquez, black foil. I think these are a little bit shorter printed than like the red ones that you see. The red ones will ship though. And we've got AJ Minter. Clo closer for the Braves? 
Paul Cool Whit. I hope so, Andrew. That's what I've been asking for. Get some more space in this studio. Might even get my might might even get my standing my standing studio at some point. It's my standing break table. Then I can do the old Austin Powers joke where it looks like I'm going down the stairs. That'll be pretty great. There's there's Dallas Keuchel. Like that Will Clark photo is pretty sweet. Will the Thrill. And there's Chris Davis. Nice Chris Davis autograph. He's got a nice auto. A's are playing great baseball. That goes to Dylan Yost. And the Athletics. This photo always cracks me up. The the gigantic glove on Dustin Pedroia. All right, there you go. Another two boxes. Good luck. Now, coming up after this will be a museum collection. Uh, yeah, sure, William. Sure, Bill, for you. <laughs> Just because I love that photo so much. There you go. Bill with the uh, with the one per case base card request fulfilled. EJ saying Mariners holding their breath with Paxson getting hurt. Actually, yeah, if there's a time to get injured, I guess it would be it would be over the All Star break. They, I think they moved. Uh, they moved Paxton start up, which I think they shouldn't have done, right? For some reason, because I think Paxton has a bit of an injury history, so why like fiddle around with his regular rotation? You know, so I think they had to. They moved him up a day, and I think he got injured that start, which is not good. But Mariners playing good baseball. They could challenge for that AL West maybe. Second second I think second half of the season is gonna is gonna turn out to be a pretty exciting one, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take a look at the standings in the next box. Alright, here we go. This box. Got Zach Godley going into the pool, black foil. And our autograph is for the A's, Dustin Fowler. Friend or foul going to Dylan. Jonathan Gray, the orange foil.
should be expecting one more autograph out of here, right? And there it is. Curie Maya for the Reds. Cincinnati Red Leg, Stephen K on the board. Nice. All right, last box coming up. And after this, I'll post our last four box break of Stadium Club Baseball. All right, next one. AL East is exciting. Red Sox. Four games ahead of the Yankees right now, but that should be one that, that's a fight to the finish, right? It looks like the AL Central... I don't know if I don't know if Minnesota I don't know if the Twins are going to catch the Indians. I think Indians have that. And then the Mariners are only four and a half games behind the Astros. Now the Mariners could could make a little noise. I wonder if they're going to make any moves at the trading deadline. We got the the Phillies overtaking the Braves. They have a two-game lead over the Braves in the a uh, NL East. If someone told me at the, at the beginning of the season that by the All-Star break, the Phillies would be two games ahead of the Braves, I would tell you that you were crazy. And that the Nationals are a game under 500, i I'd be like, you're crazy. But no, that's, that's what's happening. The this NL Central will be a fight to the finish between the Cubs and the Brewers, I think. I think that should be a good fight to the finish. And then another good fight to the finish, the Dod Dodgers and Diamondbacks fighting to the finish. And believe it or not, the Rockies and the Giants are, are both only three games behind the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks who are tied for first. So that might be a four-way race for the uh, NL West crown. Now, of course, I'm assuming my Dodgers are going are gonna to win the division. I hope they do. They might have to. I don't know if they're going to get a wild card spot if they don't. All right, last box. Thank you, everybody, for buying in. Good luck to everybody. And important news, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. Bill Mosher is wondering if, uh, if he should get Five guys tonight or Chipotle? I would go I would go by I would go two ways, Bill. I would say which one did you have most recently and then go opposite it. So if you had five guys a few nights ago, go with go with Chipotle. Vice versa. Nikki Delmonico or Bill, you can wait until after this break and we'll do uh, we'll go random.org on it. And and we'll let random.org decide your dinner fate. Nikki Delmonico for the White Sox going to TC. There's Mike Clevenger, orange. We'll save an Otani as well for the Angels. And again, looking for one more autograph out of this box. It has was Five Guys rated as the best burger in the U.S. recently? By what by what metric? By what standards? There's Jason Hayward and Dream Team Rafael Devers to fifty. Red Sox with that one. Bill Mosher with his Red Sox. Bill, you got randomize your Red Sox. And Paul, a lot of A's in this. Break, Dylan. Look at that. Paul Blackburn. Nice. Paul Blackburn Rovers. The old the, the Premier League team. Or they're not. I don't think they're in Premier League anymore. Championship division team. If you follow the English soccer. The footy. 
Special Forces Otani. Not numbered, but a nice insert for the Angels. That'll be for James Eaton. All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bill's like, are, am I wrong? Are there A's in every product? Yeah, looks like looks like they stocked up on the A's this year. Um, all right, randomizer time for the. Uh, I don't know if there were any significant Pirates, Rays, or Rangers and Rockies hits in there, or like inserts or cards that we would send you, but we'll give a, we'll give everyone a shot at it, just in case, just for the shipping team. All right, so everyone gets a shot at the bonus. And we'll actually do Bill Mosher's dinner randomizer right here too. So same dice roll for both lists. Three times, three easy times, one and a two. One, two, and three. So TC, with your last pop mojo, if there are any additional uh, pirates, Rays, Rangers, or Rockies inserts or stuff like that, then that'll go to you. One and a two, three times for Bill Mosher's Five Guys or Chipotle. One, two, and three. Random.org says go Five Guys. Do you want to anger Random.org? Probably not. We'll see you next time, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Bye-bye.